HDR10 Plus. What is it? Is it better than Dolby Vision? Or is it just another gimmick? Let's get to it. What is HDR10 Plus? HDR10 Plus is the latest and most advanced HDR technology building upon HDR10 to further enhance the viewing experience. HDR10 Plus released in April of 2017 signals not just the dynamic range, the dynamic range meaning the ratio of light to dark, but HDR10 Plus signals not just the dynamic range of video content on a scene by scene or even frame by frame basis, but it also provides in a small amount of metadata the scene characteristics between bright and dark so that important detail can be kept. This enables displays to reproduce images more realistically, adhering to the creator's intent. Whereas static HDR, such as HDR10, utilizes static tone mapping uniformly across the duration of the content, HDR10 Plus employs dynamic tone mapping to optimize each scene individually, increasing brightness and adding contrast to fit within the display's capabilities. Now, HDR10 is royalty-free technology that's easily accessible to adopters, from movie studios and filmmakers to display and device manufacturers. HDR10 Plus can be found on devices such as AVRs, Blu-ray players, mobile phones, TV displays, and projectors. And it can also be found on devices such as the HD Fury 4K Diva and the HD Fury Vroom. HDR10 Plus was founded by 20th Century Fox, Panasonic Corporation, and Samsung Electronics. Huge giants in the movie and electronic industry. So, if HDR10 Plus is supported by such widely known entities, why is there little to no content available? Why don't 4K Blu-rays support the format? And where's the content? One of the biggest supporters for HDR10 Plus is Samsung, specifically their TV division of products. Samsung is a leading manufacturer in the TV industry, but one of the biggest gripes about Samsung's newer TVs is that they don't support Dolby Vision for high dynamic range content, limiting you to basic HDR10 for most video. They do, however, offer the more comparable HDR10 Plus format, the direct competitor to Dolby Vision. But who's actually using it? As of now, Amazon does. Last year, Samsung announced that Prime Video will stream in HDR10 Plus on QLED and standard 4K TVs. About 100 TV shows and movies will support the format from the get-go, including Amazon original shows like The Grand Tour and The Tick, with the intent to make more of Amazon's catalog HDR10 Plus friendly over time. So if HDR10 Plus is a direct competitor to Dolby Vision, then it must be as equally good, right? Well, not quite. This still isn't quite as good as Dolby Vision. While HDR10 Plus shares the same scene by scene HDR mastering as Dolby Vision, HDR10 Plus only supports 10 bit color versus Dolby Vision's 12 bit palette. So then, what's the benefit of HDR10 Plus? For Samsung, the main allure is that HDR10 Plus is open source and royalty free, which means by choosing to support HDR10 Plus, over Dolby Vision, Samsung doesn't have to pay royalties where competitors like LG do. And the technology can be relatively ubiquitous if Samsung can persuade more partners to support it and Panasonic is already on board. I mean, they should, right? They are one of the founders. On the contrary, Amazon support significantly boosts the value of Samsung's TVs. That is, if you care about HDR10 Plus and HDR10 Plus might not be limited to Amazon much longer. Netflix announced that there is a possibility it will support HDR10 Plus in the future. So, higher quality HDR may become relatively commonplace. Another benefit of HDR10 Plus is that higher end projector companies like JVC and Epson have included support for HDR10 Plus on their newest line of laser projectors. Now, this is great because there are currently no projectors in existence that employ Dolby Vision. This is because projectors cannot meet the required NIT levels in Dolby Vision specifications. 
So, HDR10 Plus is a great alternative to Dolby Vision for dynamic tone mapping. Now we just need more HDR10 Plus content. Hey, what's up? You've made it this far in the video, so welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you're enjoying the content that I produce here, why don't you go ahead and do me a solid, hit the subscribe button, let your friends know about the channel, and hit the bell notification so you know when I post new content. And if you're enjoying this video, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button. It'll help the channel grow and I would greatly appreciate it. All right, well, I guess that's it. I'll let you get back to the video. Now, before I forget, it's time for query of the week. This week's query is about, you guessed it, HDR10+. Do you have a Samsung TV or some other type of TV that has HDR10 Plus on it? Do you have a TV that has HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision? If so, which one do you prefer? And can you tell a difference? All right guys, well that's gonna conclude it for this video on an HDR10 Plus. Hopefully you found this video helpful on the differences between HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision. Hopefully more companies and more streaming services and hopefully 4K Blu-ray someday will also implement HDR10 Plus because competition is just a good thing. And it gives us, the consumer, more options, especially if you have a projector that doesn't have Dolby Vision on it. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. I appreciate you supporting the channel. Once again, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and hit the bell notification so you know when I post new videos. See you guys in the next video. I'm Hater at Cowboy, and this is Hater at Cowboy Cinema.